Hello friends. Today's problem is to find the maximum length of pair chain. So here we are given a, a list of pairs. So a pair has two elements and uh, the relationship between the first and second element is such that first element is strictly less than the second element. So if you see one and two here, one is strictly less than two. Similarly, two is strictly less than three and so on. So all these pairs will satisfy that property. And there are many of such pairs and these are not sorted in any order. Only we know that between first and second element, first is less. Now we have to form a chain. So a chain is defined in such a way that uh, let's say we have a chain. So a chain, if you see, it's formed by a few links. So you can consider each of these links as a pair of let's say A and B. So the next element in the chain is let's say C and D. And uh, we are given this uh, A is strictly less than B. Similarly, C is strictly less than D and so on. But in a chain, uh, the first element of second uh, link. So if we have A, B and C, D form a chain, then uh, this should satisfy the relationship that the last element of first link should be less than first element of second link. So in this case, B should be less than C. So uh, again, uh, A is less than B. So we can append it here and D is more than C. So we can append here. But this is the thing that we need to worry about. If this is satisfied, all these are satisfied. So we have to form a longest possible chain from the given list of pairs. So let's see how we will do it. Let's see a few examples. So we have one, two, two, three and three, four. So if we pick one and two, this is the first link, then we can put, put uh, three and four here, the next chain, since three is more than two, but we cannot pick the second one. So if you see uh, the relationship should be strictly less and not equal to, so not less than equal to, but less than. So here two, three cannot be picked. So 1, 2 and 3, 4 will form a chain and the length will be 2. So we have to return the length of that longest chain. Uh, let's say we don't pick the first element. Then if we pick 2, 3, then we cannot pick the third element since 3 is equal to 3. So in this case, it seems the optimum way is 1, 2 and 3 and 4. There may be uh, multiple solutions but of the same length but uh, we are not worried about the exact answer we are worried about the length so in this case 2 similarly if you see 1 2 7 8 4 5 so if you pick 1 and 2 and next you pick 4 and 5 and then 7 and 8 it forms all the three elements are involved in the chain and the length is 3 so how we can solve it so let's uh, see so clearly we cannot do it uh, with the given list without any without modifying it so uh, there can be uh, some uh, other or uh, dynamic programming approaches also like if we have a long chain with n pairs then uh, we can take the maximum of one plus uh, second pair till nth pair so entire list is 1 to n so we are picking the first element and then picking the maximum from maximum value from second till end so we are trying to break the problem similarly uh, and in the second case we will not pick it so just if by ignoring the first element we get a better solution or not so in this case, we will take a greedy approach uh, in, in our solution. So let's see what we will do. So we will try to sort the pairs. So 
so let's sort the pairs so we get uh, some elements here let's say we have uh, x1 after sorting we get x1 then x2 x3 and so on and these are pairs so x1 will again have x10 and x11 similarly for all these now how we will sort it so one way can be sort by first element so in this case x10 is less than x20 and is less than x30 or it can be equal also uh, so this is the sorting order based on first element so let's see if uh, we take a greedy approach after this it will work or not so let's say we have an example where we have the pairs 1 8 and then we have 2 3 3 4 and uh, or let's say 4 5 or 4 6 so if now you can see that this is sorted based on the first element it is not sorted based on the second element because you see 8 comes before 3 now if we pick the first element 1 8 then what can be the next element in the chain none of these because none of the starting a values are less than 8 so length will be 1 so clearly the greedy approach is not working in this case but now let's uh, sort the same elements on the basis of second element second uh, element of the pair same set of pairs so uh, now it will become uh, the smallest second element is 3 so 2 3 will come first then uh, 4 so 3 4 then uh, 4 6 and finally 1 8 now what can be the longest length 2 3 we pick and then we cannot pick this one since 3 is equal then we pick 4 6 and that's it so if this 3 was 2.5 instead of 3 uh, we could have got a length 3 but in this case uh, 2 is the uh, maximum length chain so we get 2 which is correct so uh, to uh, give an exception that this rule will not work one example is sufficient but to show that uh, this approach will work one positive example is not sufficient so we have to confirm that this uh, greedy approach will work let's take a scenario so uh, let's say we have two elements x and y two pairs x and y and x comes before y in sorting so after sorting x comes before y and there are more elements i have not listed here so let's say there are more elements so x comes before y and now we are sorting uh, based on so we are trying to validate the correctness of sorting by a second element so this is sorted by second element of pair where x comes before y immediate neighbors or maybe some time back but let's say these are immediate values so if holds true for these two pair it will hold true for y and the next neighbor also and so on and by induction we can go on till the end so let's say x and y are two elements so if x comes before y then what do we know x1 is less than y1 indices i am assuming index starting from 0 so 1 is the second element now clearly we know that x0 has to be less than x1 so this is the definition of pair but how about y0 so y0 can be here so y0 will definitely come before y1 because that is the uh, that's the rule but we don't know how less is y1 so if you see this earlier example uh, this uh, 1 8 1 was less than many of these elements yeah so one case is that y0 comes here after x1 so this is case 1 other case is that y0 lies between 
x0 and x1 so here and the third case is it's less than x0 so these are the only three cases possible because we have three intervals it cannot go beyond y1 since that will violate the rule so only three possibilities are there now let's see case one so in case one if you see uh, the relationship is x0 is less than x1 and y0 is more than the last element of x1 so in this case we can take both pick both x and y in the solution because it's a valid chain so the length is 2 in this case we can pick both and the largest value let's list down here the largest value so that uh, that will help in further comparisons so for the next element when we pick we will compare what was the last element here the second element of the previous chain link so in this case largest value will be uh, y1 now see the second case in the second case uh, these are overlapping so we cannot pick uh, x and y both we have to pick one so if we pick uh, y then the length is 1 and the maximum we will get is y1 if we pick x again length will be 1 and the maximum value will be x1 similarly in this case we can pick either one or either x or y so which one we should pick no matter whether we pick x or y the maximum uh, uh, the length for this will be 1 for this x and y because only one element is al allowed but what would be our uh, strategy so uh, since uh, there are many more elements beyond x and y so we have x y and there are more elements let's say z w a b and so on so if we were picking both it's fine if we are picking just one which one we should pick the one for one uh, where the maximum element or the ending element is less so if you see uh, these two cases if we pick y the maximum element is y1 and we know that y1 is more than x1 so this is known y1 is more than x1 because y comes later in the sorting sorting by second element so we have to pick the smallest we have to pick such that largest element among these after picking is less so that if z if say uh, z0 uh, is uh, z0 lies between y0 or, or or y1 and x1 this can be valid because these, these are sorted based on last element so z0 the first element of z can lie between these two so if we had picked y clearly z0 is less than y1 so we cannot pick z but if we have picked to x uh, then largest element was x1 and z0 is more than x1 so we we can pick z also we pick one here and pick z so uh, our approach is to pick x so uh, if we take a greedy approach uh, so we, we will pick x first and then we will see that y is overlapping so we will not pick y and then we will pick z so this is the best way if if uh, and and this should work and this should be valid for all the pairs so this greedy approach takes care of that now let's uh, see the approach let's see a concrete example so we had taken uh, 1 8 then uh, 2 3 then 4 5 and uh, maybe 5 7 and these are the four elements so first sort these by uh, descending order uh, in ascending order by second element so it should be 2 3 4 5 5 7 and 1 8 
and let's take one more element where it's 912 so then it will be 912 so now let's pick the first element so our count is 1 now here the largest value we can keep track of just one value the last element so value is 3 now we come here we compare value with first element 4 it's more than 3 so we pick this also and now the largest value is 5 so our value becomes 5 and count becomes 2 now we compare value with first element it's equal so we will not pick it value remains same so the chain that we have formed so far is 2 3 4 5 and the last value value is always pointing to the end of chain now we see 1 8 1 is less than val so we will not pick it then we come here 9 9 is less than 5 so we will pick it and value becomes 12 and the chain is 9 12 and the count is incremented to 3 now we have reached the end so no need to check further so we will return 3 so let's write the code for this so first we need to sort it so we will sort so I'm writing in C++ but it's a simple logic you can uh, replicate in uh, other languages so we will sort these pairs and the comparator that we will give is two pairs and here a 1 so 0 is the first element 1 is the second element so this will sort based on second element now let's take val val should be uh, so it's given that this is not empty uh, if you see that the length is empty you can return straight away let's add that case also if n is less than 1 or less than 2 so it takes care of both empty case and uh, one element one pair case so in that case we can return n so if it's 0 it will return 0 1 return 1 if it's more than 1 then the running val is uh, let's say pairs first element and first pair and second element so we are con always including first element and the count will be 1 since we have included and then we run from second element till the last second pair till the last int i equal to 1 i less than n plus plus i so if pairs i 0 is more than well then include this pair so we do count plus plus and the new val will be pairs i 1 and then we return count so let's see if it works then we will look at its time complexity so these two uh, cases are passing let's submit so all the test cases pass so what would be the time complexity here so we are sorting it and there are n elements so clearly n log n and then uh, this is a linear uh, time complexity since we are scanning this loop once so order of n plus n log n that is order of n log n and the space uh, we are using just uh, this some uh, variables count and val so space is o of 1 so let me write here so time complexity is o of n log n if there are n pairs and space complexity is o of 1 So see you in the next video. Thank you.